This episode's FTR shoutout goes to Ian Harborn Bagol. Leave a comment down below if you have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another fish tank review. Y'all know what's about to go down. Y'all already know. The fish keepers that get it, get it. The fish keepers that don't, don't. I don't get that trend. Whatever, I'm too old. I'm too old for this TikTok generation feeding my children. I am actually very surprised that these fish still have the appetite to be looking for food up top and munching on it. That's the most impressive part to me. The water looks putrid. There is a old Chinese proverb that goes something like, in clear water, there is no fish. They're saying like, if the water is too clean, for example, if you clean your fish tanks with soap, fish can't really live in there. It's gotta be a little bit dirty to create the optimal living conditions for a fish. If you want a bacterialess, fish tank that's not gonna happen because beneficial bacteria is a hundred percent crucial to fish living environment what i don't think the proverb is alluding to is how dirty and crappy looking of a fish tank this is i'm assuming if you just touch the water with your finger there should be a thin film that collects like if you heat up milk this film of thicker milk forms on top that is what it is and i can't imagine how disgusting it would smell i can't believe how many people actually think fish tanks smell bad or are supposed to smell bad when i first started dating my girlfriend like a decade ago? Not really. Kind of, almost. Right? Bruh. She was like, you keep how many fish tanks? That's gonna smell so gross. Ew. <laughs> and one time I actually told her, just put your nose up to my fish tank and smell it. I dare you. She did. Nothing. Maybe it smells like a bit of grass. Very impressed. Even though I had a lot of fish tanks, it didn't smell like it. You could blindfold someone and ask, is this the room with the fish tanks? 50-50. And that's how it should be. Not like this. <laughs> And I didn't even get to the feeding my children part yet. You treat your children yeah. like this? This is why I hate the use of goldfish as feeder fish. People think that just because they're small and less than a dollar, then they're gonna stay small and not grow to be giants they get to be in ponds. Yeah. Personally, I would just not use goldfish as feeder fish. That would solve 100% of the problem. That would solve the miscommunication. That would get better nutrition and better options for feeding whatever animal you have. I hate it when people like this are like, look at my babies, such cute children. Mama, Papa is gonna take care of you. Like if we were gonna call you something, it wouldn't be a fish parent. It would be a fishy parent. And honestly, it ain't even fishy no more. There's no doubt that this is not how you take care of fish. That ain't fishy, that's straight up criminal. I too keep my children in toilet water. Ah, yes. Children are so spoiled these days. Don't forget to put them in their place once in a while. Now I get it. They're disciplining their children by making them go into that crappy fishbowl. It all makes sense now. Someone needs to call Child Protective Services. The water make it look like a bad soup. Cursed soup. Clam chowder. Who wants chowder? Chunky boy 284 sent in this chunky aquarium. What are we working with here? I have no idea. Ember tetras? Some shrimp? A mystery snail? The lighting might not be good enough for your Ludwigia because they are losing them leaves on the bottom. Not too bad though. They're still keeping alive. Just not in the greatest shape. That means your carpet might also suffer. Even though you might have good nutrient rich substrate, if the light's not enough, they're just not going to carpet for you. They're going to grow sparse and tall. Not the look you want. I would suggest maybe getting a night crew. It's very cheap and it can light it up quite brightly. You can even get two. It'll probably still be cheaper than like one single other LED from somewhere else. The sponge filter, the heater, not overstocked. I like the hardscape. I like that there's a lot of live plants. There's actually quite a few varieties now that I look at it. There's even some Hydrocado Tripartita. Four out of five, keep it up. Curious Chloride. Very nice little clean rimless nano tank filled to the brim with Amazon Sword, Micro Sword, Baby Tears, Anubias Nana, Java Moss, and Giant Duckweed. And I think it's a single bed of fish tank. If this is not five gallons, you might want to upgrade a little bit in the future. I'm a strong believer that bed of fish should have at least five gallons to themselves. With the clean scape, clean backdrop, air stone, clean glass, as you have that scraper over there, doing regular maintenance, husbandry on point, lacking a bit of hardscape if I do say so myself. 4.2 out of 5. Keep it up. Thanks for the clarification. Pretty sure my clowns are about to lay eggs is an absolutely terrifying sentence coming from anyone other than my coworker with a saltwater home aquarium. That is some... What is that? Re recent horror clown movie. It. That is some it shit. Clowns are terrifying enough. Yes, I'm one of those people who don't particularly love them. If they start laying eggs like a bird or a reptile, I'm piecing out of this planet. Really great accidental spark that you need in a truly horrifying movie. Just why? No. Just say clown fish in the future. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Echo IJ sent in their... All right, straight claims, y'all. Hold up. Leave in the comments below, let's have a vote. Do you think this is the work of a beginner or an expert? Or at least a intermediate aquascaper? Punch in your answers in the comments, timestamp it so other people 
doesn't know what you're talking about. All right, welcome back. The reveal is that Echo has told me they are a beginner. They literally, what? That's an ADA? What is that, a twin star light up top? Immersed wood skate, lily pipes, thick substrate, clean, what is that, Monte Carlo carpet? A little bit of rockscape peeking out. Are you like a pro landscaper then? Cause this is incredible. I'm sure there's CO2 in here as well. Might be DIY CO2. Carlo Conrad's Boras, not overstocked. Just lush background plants for days. Clean escape I've ever seen from a beginner. Holy crap. That is a complete five out of five. Please don't be lying. I trust you, dude. This to this day stands the best tank a beginner has ever made. But what is your definition of a beginner? Because what have you been in this hobby for like three years, but you're just trying to be humble, relatable? I, I'm gonna do a water change. Me trying to figure out if that's zero or 0 0.25 ammonia. Isn't isn't that just a little bit, feel like it's a little bit racist, right? Me trying to figure out if Rapashi is about to shed. <laughs> I think I found my betta. This is why betta fish are so interesting. Although I hope this guy is not stuck because that would be a hell of a thing to try to get him out of. I don't know what that decor is, but it's artificial and I'm not sure if it's betta safe. You gotta watch out because some artificial decor is actually very dangerous for betta fish. Like if they're stuck in that hole and they don't know how to get out, they could just die. But if he's perfectly safe, this is another a reason why betta fish are so awesome as pets, especially your first fish, because you never expect how wonderfully adventurous, packed with personality and attitude a betta fish comes with. What a creative community tank. Wow, koi carp, moonlight gourami, black goldfish community tank. Who came up with the stocking and who is the aquascape for this? I must find out. Have they submitted this to the international aquascaping contest? Is it just me or where are this fish's fins? Are they just very translucent and blending in the background? or is it suffering from severe fin rot? I've seen it before. Fin rot so severe that it almost looks like the fish lost half of its body. All in all, five missing fish body parts out of five. Han sent in this tank, one guppy, four neons, two cardinals, and adding more guppies in the future. And you can definitely add more, I feel like. I don't even see your stocking here, so you're severely understocked, which is not a bad thing. Keeps it natural, keeps it nice. 3.65 out of five, keep it up. Rope fish and silver dollar best friends. Dude, this actually looks pretty sick. This is reminding me of like an anime protagonist like the silver dollar and he's got like some kind of animal around his neck like some summoning jutsu or something <laughs> what a boss it kind of reminds me of that i don't know if you guys read the jujutsu kaisen manga it's not there yet in the anime like this character hasn't been introduced but it's this guy who doesn't have any cursed energy who just fights with this sword and he's got this like curse around his neck super freaking cool dude that's what it's reminding me of what an awesome picture coolest silver dollar in the world it also looks like it's trying not to do an uwu it's like oh rope fish sama <laughs> okay, time to stop right there. Nebula sent in their small Neocaridina shrimp tank. An assortment of small Neocaridina. Got the shrimp feeding all set up perfectly. The husbandry is so on point for the shrimp that it's going to boost your score quite a lot. And on its own, it is also a quite pleasant aquascape to look at. Another submission with Oko Stone. The live plants are popping. The nutrient-rich substrate looks like fluval stratum. Perfect for shrimp. 4.45 out of 5. Keep it up. Found this gem of a comment under a green aqua video. Never have I related to something more. I feel like I can only afford to watch a couple minutes of this video and I'll have to wait until my next paycheck to watch a little more. <laughs> I haven't thought of it that way, but I can totally see where you're coming from. They're using like the highest end, most top notch stuff to aquascape. Every little bit of detail in there is just dollars. Like even for someone who runs an aquarium channel, I don't, I feel like even after expensing some of the costs that I need to purchase these things and use them, I'm still going to be at a, quite a deficit. So you and me both brother, but just make sure you do watch the whole video through to help them with the algorithm. Not that they need it, but hey, we do what we can for our fish fam. My Cory likes to perch on leaves and judge me while I listen to jams under my umbrella. How about bro, come clean my impella? That is a very judgmental looking, looking like Confucius over here, bro. That's what I love about Cory's. They always kind of accidentally just look really wise sometimes or dorky or both at the same time. This is your friendly reminder to do your monthly filter cleaning. Get on it, folks. After this FTR, I'll be rescuing this guy today. Ooh, this is what I've been waiting for. This is what about the quintessential crap crappy fish tank. Unfortunately, still found in many fish stores being sold. But today, today we restore some faith in humanity. Thank you for rescuing this guy. For you future parents, introducing baby to pets. Safe. Unsafe. Yes, bad stocking choice. That also looks like a 20 gallon maximum. That is way overstocked. If the baby poos once, it's over. The whole ecology of the tank is broken. <laughs> Massive ammonia spike, full show. All right, folks, welcome back to the end of the video. There was this one FTR where I forgot to welcome you guys back to the end of the video. And someone was calling me out like, 
Bro, I feel scammed. I was not welcomed to the end of the video. How could you do this to me, Chris? I'm completely sorry. It will never happen again. No promises. Hope your Monday went just a little better with FTR. And Rapashi and I give you a great start to the rest of the week. Well, we can't go without Katwa. This episode's question of the week is, what is the name of your pet? For example, the name of my pet here is Rapdashio. If you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come. And don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin dot, acclimate that. With my shoal at, carry my fin rod from Carasiformis to Parachirodon. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Lit fam says, I finna one. I finna gone three days without fur. I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black Tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence.